Hi, welcome back to PSLE Math Heuristics Lessons. All right, today we are going to look at a, a very simple method, uh, but this method can be quite complicating, or it can be quite complicated, right, for some of the students. Uh, the method is assumption method. So, uh, so some students, they tend to memorize a formula, right, a formula to get the answer. Uh, actually, that is not quite advisable because the questions can, uh, can have many kinds, many kinds of assumption questions. And uh, if the question gets a bit hard, then that formula that some of the students have been trained to memorize will not be able to work. So there is actually a very easy way to teach assumption. Uh, so all you have to do is just take note of some things and then the whole method will become very easy to use. All right, so let's look at how we exactly use assumption or how do we do assumption method. Okay, Mrs. Chua bought 116 lollipops for her class of 40 pupils. To do assumption, there is a very important number that you must have, which is the total number of pupils. Without this total number, you cannot do assumption. So you will have to think of other methods. She gave the girls five lollipops each and the boys two lollipops each. So how many girls were there in Mrs. Chua's class? Uh, so in this, for this question, you can use guess and check. You can also use three rows get the answer. Uh, but the most preferred choice or the, mo the method that we will encourage our students to, to use is assumption method because it's faster, right? If you do the assumption method, it's actually faster than guess and check and also the three rows get the answer. All right, so how do we exactly do assumption? Now, you start with assume. So when you start your method, you will always have to use the word assume and you assume all, which is the total number. So what is all? All means the total pupils, which is all the 40 people, 40 pupils they are, they are all boys. Now, why do you not assume they are girls? Uh, nothing wrong with assuming they are girls, uh, but if you do that, then there's one more step. So it will become very dangerous, right? If you assume all are girls because of that last step, right? That extra step that you need to do, because if you forget to do, that's, that's what happened when students forget to do the last step and then they don't get the full marks. So the, the safer way is to assume the opposite. So assume all are boys and all the 40 pupils, they will be all boys. So which means that all the boys will get how many lollipops? They will get uh, 40 times two. So they will get 80 lollipops altogether, which is not true because the total lollipops that Mrs. Hua bought is 116. All right, now from here, uh, what do we do? Now, uh, we are not going to use that formula that some of the students have been uh, have been taught to use, uh, but there's something which I would like to introduce to you, which is called the leaf. Okay, the leaf. And by the way, this assumption problem is actually quite simple. There are questions which are much harder, uh, but the method is always the same, right? How you use the leaf, which I'm going to show you, will will still be the same. So, uh, you assume, right? You assume all our boys. So the total is 80, right? The total lollipops given to all the boys is 80, which is not true, and you put over here. Why? Because the, the correct total is bigger. So if you have something that is bigger, you put on top. So where are you? At the, at the HDB flat. So which level are you? You are at the wrong level, which is 80. So you need to climb, climb to the correct level. And how many levels must you climb? So you find the difference. So you take 116 and you minus 80. You have to climb 36 floors to reach the correct level. Okay, now this is where the assumption gets very easy, right? Uh, usually students will get stuck over here. They know how to do the first few steps and then the rest of the steps uh, they forgot or don't know how to do. So the leaf is going to teach us a few things. Now, it's not true that all are boys, right? Not true. So you are going to replace the boys with girls. But how many boys are we going to replace with girls? So we start with one boy first. We replace one boy with one girl. So. Do you think she give more lollipops or she will give lesser lollipops? So you look at the leaf, right? No, no need to think very hard on whether uh, she, will, she will give away more or less lollipops. If you replace one boy with one girl, you will get more lollipops. Because why? The leaf is going up. So you don't have to think so hard. The leaf is going higher, so you're getting more. Then the question is, how many more lollipops are you getting? So you have another line which is also very important and useful. So what is this line? Uh, it's a show, one girl has how many? One girl has five lollipops, which I'll put over here, and one boy has two lollipops. 
So this second line will tell you whether how many more. Okay, how many more are you getting if you replace a boy with a girl? So you're going to put your finger at your assumption, which is at the girl, right? Or oh, at the boy, sorry, at the boy, because every boy gets two lollipops. So you're going to move, move from, from the boy, right? Uh, uh, replace the boy with a girl. So how do you move? You move from left to right. <clears throat> because a boy has two lollipops, you replace with a girl who is going to get five lollipops. So how many do you move? you move three more, okay? So which means that every time you replace a boy with a girl, you will always get three more lollipops. So the leaf goes higher by three floors. Uh, but you're still not at the correct level yet because you need to reach the correct level. So how many floors must you climb? Which we forgot to put down. You need to climb 36 floors, right? So how many, how many times must you replace the boys? Or how many times must you press the button? Every time you press the leaf button, the leaf goes up three floors. So it's getting nearer to the correct level. So how many times must you press the button? You take 36 floors divided by three, you will need to press 12 times, which means that you will have to replace 12 boys with 12 girls. So how many girls are there in Mrs. Hua's class? So the answer is 12. So what's the lesson over here? Now the lesson here is the leaf and the number line. Okay, the number line which I showed you just now. So these are the two things that will help you solve very hard assumption problems. This problem is actually actually considered quite easy, uh, but there will be some assumption problems that will be quite hard. And then these two leaf, uh, these two lines, okay, these two number lines will help you to work out the answer quite easily without much of a thinking. So this, that's how we do assumption method. All right, it's actually not as hard as we think. Uh, like most students, they they are afraid of doing assumption or they don't want to do assumption because they get confused. They don't know how to use it. Uh, so how do we actually help them? By having a leaf to show them, right? And also by having a, a second line to, to show them how many more or how many lesser. So the leaf can go up. The leaf can also go down. In this question, you can see the leaf is going up. In some assumption problem, the leaf can go down. And in some harder problems, uh, the leaf can actually start underground. <laughs> like for example, right now you see the leaf. The leaf is, uh, you, have a, you have a zero over there. A zero means what? Ground level, right? Ground level. But for some hard problems, the leaf can actually go underground, <laughs> which is uh, quite interesting, right? But all these pictorial, all these pictures will help the student to understand how to use the method to solve assumption problems, right? Okay, so we are done. We are done with this method. So stay tuned for the next coming few lessons. And we will continue to show you uh, the different kinds of methods that we can use to solve uh, problems in your exams. All right, so see you in the next round.